We must come together. We must pull together. And united, we will take on and defeat our enemies. Those comments coming down just moments ago from British Prime Minister Theresa May speaking out against last night's apparent terror attack in London. Here's the latest information we're getting right now. Seven people have been killed and at least 30 hurt after a van plowed through crowds of people on the London Bridge. And then moments later, a violent stabbing at a nearby market. NBC's Chris Pallone now has the latest on this developing story. It started on London Bridge after 10 local time. Witnesses say a white van swerved into the crowd of people walking across the bridge, mowing down everyone in its path. Yeah, I saw people running, screaming, somebody was injured. I see people with some blood. Moments later, reports of men stabbing patrons with large knives at Borough Market, a gathering spot crowded with people out to eat and drink on a Saturday night. I just saw some loads of people run away from the market and... There was people lying on the ground, and there was a taxi driver who had his sort of window down, was really shouting at people to, to run. Uh, we ran for like 100 meters, and then sort of loads of police cars turned up, and there was kind of a period of quite intense gunfire. About three guys on the opposite side of the road, and they was running up, and they started stabbing this woman. She's going, help me, help me, I can't, I can't do nothing. Videos posted to social media show police evacuating restaurants and screaming for patrons to get down. Witnesses say patrons threw glasses and used chairs to hold the attackers at bay. Metropolitan police say they shot and killed three attackers who were wearing fake bomb devices. Now the race is on to figure out who is responsible. There's nothing to tell us right now whether or not this was really the work of an organized terrorist group like ISIS or whether this is simply, you know, followers. President Trump has been briefed. He tweeted, we are with you to the people of London but not before making a renewed pitch for his travel ban for six majority Muslim countries. Chris Pallone, NBC News.